All right, friends. Here's a quick rundown of the hybrid intake that was question how how do we put it together so this is the oem box i had to cut part of the oem box to use this kit that came from takeda this is a takeda kit for an ej25 for legacy uh, around 2008 between 2008 2012 around that time uh, so the piping basically fits directly over here and you can just use the hose fittings the silicone hoses and then the clamps that they provide and you can buy all these parts from Takeda uh, also known as AFE um, and they have like an a la carte parts inventory I can share the parts numbers so if you want to build something like this it's a lot more cost effective to do it a la carte than to buy that kit because the kit comes with all this, you know, cone filter and all those other things that you don't need uh, to build a hybrid intake. Okay, so things to keep in mind on those builds, right? You're going to be looking for engines that are the 2.5 or 2 liter sized engines. Uh, stay away from like anything in the 3 liter or 3.6 liter those intake pipe diameters are a lot larger and you're going to be messing up your your MAF readings because the flow of these small FB engines do not match those of the larger like six cylinder engines and whatnot so don't oversize that pipe um, at best uh, measure the throttle body size and you know plus you know just a little bit more uh, and then, you know, measure the, the diameter of the output of the box. And that's, I think it's around 68 millimeters. That's around the size of pipe that you're going to want. I know you can use different ty types of pipe, right? So if you find another kit from another, uh, more of a naturally aspirated Impreza's or Forester's or Outback's from EJ's, those pipes, they, they all kind of fit to this area where the air box is. And uh, a lot of those aftermarket ones, if, if you're okay with finding the fittings for them, you can build any kind of hybrid intake you would like. So, good luck.